What is going on, guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about the finals, which is a game I recently downloaded on my PS5. This is a free-to-play game on console and PC, and I have really been enjoying it. Before I get into all the details, be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community Discord, my Twitter, and of course, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. And if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, I hope you consider subscribing. When I first saw this game, I was kind of curious as kind of how it would work. Would it be something that FPS fans would really enjoy? And once I started playing it, I kind of understood why there was a lot of hype around the game. Even though the player base has dropped off a little bit, I think there's a few things that could be added to the game that could fix that. But overall, it's a really fun experience here on the PlayStation. Uh, first of all, the destructible environments are absolutely insane it changes the way the map plays and most everything in the game is destructible and of course it is a class-based fast-paced objective style you know game in general it's kind of a setting of um, a game show but it does have classes so you have a light class a medium class and the heavy class so each class has their own thing tied to them so it is one of those kind of not really a hero style shooter but the same kind of concept and of course the two game modes we have available right now are definitely objective based which for a lot of people out there that like uh, first person shooters this may be a breath of fresh air some people may not like your normal team deathmatch style game uh, game mode people like objective style game modes may really like what uh, the finals has to offer now when it comes to how the games work it is 3v3v3 three three three. so there's three teams of three uh, it does make for some really good gunfights because you're not only worried about one team you're worried about two teams there and so you can stack your teams you know with one medium one light one heavy character or all of one of the classes so however you would like to do that classes make to me for a kind of a, a fun experience even though I'm not a huge fan of some hero style shooters even though this is not really a hero style shooter they do have their own style abilities so for me I was kind of worried about that but I do think the class difference uh, makes for a lot of fun especially with the objective modes because each class has kind of a ability that will help them out in those certain objective modes it's more of a arena style game show is what I would consider it because it is very fast paced with the destruction. It looks really good. The sound quality is really good. Uh, the announcers that are kind of in the game show aren't, un, aren't really annoying. So it's not something that it's going to bother you when you're playing, but it is, does add something to it. It does sound kind of unique when you're playing. It's not like a normal kind of announcer on a first person shooter. But overall, to me, like I said, that fast-paced arena-style game um, with that destruction makes it a lot different than some other FPS games out there right now. I do think there are a few issues that are class balance. I think there needs to be some balance changes. A lot of people have also kind of complained about the price of things in the store. Of course, the game has a store, Battle Pass, that kind of stuff. But to me, the biggest issue probably is going to be there only being just a few um, maps available right now and only two modes and I think that's going to be the big downfall of the game if they can get class balance fixes you know kind of in and whether they add something else down the road for classes who knows but if they can get those balance cla uh, the classes balanced I think that'll be a big help but mainly adding more maps and adding more modes is going to be a big plus because right now it does get a bit not really repetitive but at the same time you don't really see any new scenery. If you think something, uh, think about something that is, you know, a triple A title for your Call of Duty, your Battlefields, those type games. Even though all of them do not have tons of maps in each, in each one of those games, but you still have a good bit of variety along with a good bit of game modes for variety. Right now in the finals, only having just a handful of maps and two modes, it does make it a bit, like I said, not really repetitive, but it's so familiar. I think some fans of the FPS genre will kind of move on to other games and maybe something they don't play all the time because maybe it feels a bit boring after you play those same maps and modes over and over. So I think if there were some new additions to the modes and map rotation, it would keep players interest a bit more. It would pique players interest because that's one thing players want when it comes to a first person shooter, a fast paced, fun game to play, but with customization with things like 
you know, different maps and modes they can play. If you get to be too much of the same uh, thing over and over, that's a hard recipe to kind of, you know, go with. There's a few games out there that can do that. There's just a few game modes and just a few maps, and it works. But that usually doesn't work for most FPS games. As we know, there's been tons of FPS games over the years, and not all of them are very popular. But I do think the finals has a place in the FPS genre. And if things are tweaked and things are fixed, uh, if they start, like I said, with class balance, maps, and modes, and then go work on some other things, you know, just in general in the game, when it comes to bugs, maybe something with the store, those kind of things that the community is talking about. If they can work on the big stuff and then start working on the small stuff, I think the finals could really be a good shooter that is uh, going to have a community that plays it for a really long time. Leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know if you've played the finals yet. And of course, I'll catch you all next time. Peace.